I'm redoing my website, and when I'm done, I'll be putting it on my new favorite operating system, OpenBSD. I'll also be using their HTTPD web server, and for now, the WordPress blogging platform. So I thought I'd do a basic walkthrough of the steps to install WordPress on OpenBSD version 6.6. .6. Besides the Vim editor, the only things I'm going to be installing are what's in Michael W. Lucas's excellent book, HTTPD and RelayD Mastery. So I've already got a fresh installation of OpenBSD running on a virtual machine, and I'm SSH'd in as root for this demo. Okay, so let's install the packages. Package add, MariaDB, dash server, PHP curl, and PHP MySQLi. So that's going to install those packages for us. Uh, the PHP curl and PHP MySQLi are going to install the PHP package for us. Okay, so it's asking what version of PHP curl we want to install, and I'm gonna pick version three there, uh, which is 7.3. May as well go with the latest version that's available in the uh, ports. Okay, same thing for PHP MySQLi. It's asking what version we want, so I'm just gonna go with the latest version, um, PHP MySQLi 7.3. So that's version three. Bam, package is installed. Okay, next, let's enable all the services to start on boot. So vim etcrc.conf.local. I'm gonna put in httpd, oops, underscore flags, equals no flags, but we want to start. Package scripts equals mysql d and php. Um, yeah, 73 underscore FPM. All right, that's it. Okay, next, let's configure MariaDB. Make dir dash p. So we're gonna make this directory var dub 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 var run mysql. So the HTTPD daemon runs in a root or a ch root. Basically that just means it runs in its own subsection of the file system and it has its own file system. That way if someone manages to hack your web server it'll be more difficult for them to gain access to your entire system. So that's what we're doing here is we're creating uh, everything we need within that var dub 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 which is the root of the httpd uh, daemon. Okay, now let's change the ownership of that directory we just made. So chone, I'm going to give it to MySQL, MySQL, you can see that I already tried this and I messed it up, but var run, oops, var, dub dub dub, var run MySQL. Okay, can't type for some reason. Okay, now we have to edit the my.cnf file to tell MySQL where it's going to find the socket in this truded uh, MySQL installation. Vim and see my dot cnf. Alright, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to go here to client and we're going to put in socket equals var dub 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 var run mysql and mysql dot sock and then do the same for the mysql daemon so socket equals var dub 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 I cannot type var run mysql mysql dot sock okay finally Okay, now let's install MySQL. MySQL underscore install underscore db. Okay, that's done. Okay, now that it's installed, let's start it. RCCTL start mysqld. 
cool. Now we have to give it a username and a password. Now there is a MySQL secure installation and I do suggest that you would go through that, but for this demo, we're just gonna give it a basic username and password. We're not gonna do the uh, secure installation and all that. We'll do that in a different video. All right, so MySQL admin dash u root password is gonna be password one, two, three. Told you, not very secure. Okay, now let's log in. MySQL dash u root dash p. And the password was password one, two, three. All right, we're in. Okay, now let's create a WordPress database. So create database. I'm gonna name it the same thing that uh, Michael Lucas did. So it's just WPDB. Don't forget your semicolon at the end. Now we're gonna grant all privileges on our database, WPDB dot star two. WP user is gonna be our username at localhost identified by the password WP PWD. Don't forget your semicolon, bam. And flush privileges. Now you can quit out of that. Okay, now let's configure PHP. Okay, so let's cd into Etsy PHP 7.3 and we want the, just the directory. Okay, cool. Now we're going to copy everything in PHP 7.3.sample to the directory we're in. Okay, so now let's start up PHP. Our CCTL start PHP 7.3 underscore 7.3 underscore FPM. Okay, now it's time to configure HTTPD. And the way you do that is you create and edit a server definitions file, a lot like your Nginx server definitions file, if you're familiar with that web server. I've already got one uh, that I copied over to this server, so I'm just going to copy it into the correct place, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's the exact same thing that uh, Lucas has in his book, so thanks, Mr. Lucas. All right, cp root, that was the name of it. I'm gonna copy that to Etsy httpd.conf and then when we open that up to look at it there's your server definition if you want more information on how this works and what it is you should definitely get Lucas's book or read the man pages obviously okay there are a few resources that we will need to move in into the root so that httpd can access it so let's make a directory bar the Etsy and copy Etsy hosts to that directory bar dub 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 Etsy hosts. I'm gonna copy Etsy resolve.conf var dub 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 Etsy resolve.conf. I'm gonna copy Etsy local time to var dub 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 Etsy local time. Cool. Okay, so now let's install and configure WordPress. So let's remove our current var dub 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 htdocs directory. Okay, good. I already got rid of it. And then cd into var dub dub dub. And then we will FTP, HTTPS, WordPress.org, latest.tar.gz. Okay, now that that's downloaded, let's tar-xzf, our latest 
tar.gz. Awesome, now let's move WordPress to HT docs. Great, all right, now let's chone our HT docs directory to be owned by our dub 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 user and group. Cool, now let's start her up. CCTL, start HTTPD. Okay, I'll start it. Okay, so you will need to make sure that you edit your host file on your laptop or desktop or whatever so that the IP address of your server matches to the name that you've given it, like blog.example.com or whatever. So I'm on my desktop here, and you can see that I've already gone ahead and done that. It's the last one there, blog.example.com. So, now let's see if we can browse to our blog.example.com. Yeah, all right, perfect. So that is a quick installation. All you would need to do is go through here and click through, uh, give it your database name, your username, your password, your host like we just did. So it was uh, WPDB. WP user, WP PWD, uh, localhost, and we'll keep that. And run the installation. Let's give it a title blogs, WP user. Mm, actually, we'll give this like WP user 1, WP PWD also. WP PWD. Uh, don't need. To. We'll give this um, user at example.com. Definitely do that just in case. Okay, success. WP user 1, w, WP PWD. Bam. Okay, there is your WordPress website. You can uh, visit the site here. And you can see that it's just a lovely, um, normal WordPress blog. And so let's see what happens if we change the JavaScript. Nothing. Okay, just a regular old WordPress blog. Very cool. Okay, quick note. So your server is up and running. Your blog is up. Awesome but there is a problem with the HTTPD web server currently where if you change your permalinks, you will get a 404 error browsing to certain things. So right now you have to have the ugly permalinks. To get the pretty permalinks, I'm gonna try and figure out how to fix that and I'll post a video on that in the future. But otherwise, you do have a website, so enjoy.